All right, you guys, you may have heard of the paper towel analogy, but today I wanted to show you if you have not heard of it. It's a great, it's just a great example, and it gives you a new perspective of how we sometimes need to realize how our journey is. So we have these two paper towels, they look the same. This is like our before and our after. Um, so we start off on our journey, we're doing great. Um, we're taking the little steps we need. We're being consistent with our macros and we're working out and we're doing everything we need to, you know, and you look at it and you can't really see a that big of a difference. You can't really notice a difference. Um, and so you might get a little frustrated, but you have made a difference. But if you just keep going, remember this journey or any journey takes patience and consistency. Lots of patience, lots of consistency. And even though you can't really see it, you are making a difference. So you just keep going and you're gonna have slip ups. <clears throat> um, and that's okay. We need to stop putting so much emotion behind our choices and just make a choice I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later, about being in a place of power when making your choices. But you keep going, <clears throat> even if you have slip ups, you just keep going and pretty soon you might not be able to see a big difference, but other people are going to start noticing and maybe they talk to you about it and you're like, really? I don't even see any different, anything different, but people are start noticing because you keep going. You didn't quit. You kept going. You have consistency, you have patience, you keep trying, even when you mess up, you keep going through the messy action. Messy action is still action. Remember that. Even though the action isn't perfect, even though the journey isn't perfect, you're still taking action if you're trying, if you're still continuing on. So messy action is still action. So you go through the messy action, you have a couple setbacks, that's totally normal, expect it, it's normal to have a setback. So when you expect it, you can plan for it and make a strategy to push you through it. I'm also gonna talk about a spiral staircase because sometimes we see our journey as like a start. There needs to be a start and a finish. You know, when it's like this finish line, you're gonna do all these things you need to do to get there. Um, sometimes you go a little slower, but if you think of it more like a spiral staircase, sometimes it looks the same. Sometimes you can't see change. Sometimes you're continuing up one step at a time and the, it still looks the same. And sometimes you may fall back on the staircase and it still looks the same, but maybe when you fall back, you either learn, you either get results or you get a lesson. So when you fall back, think of the lesson you can learn from what just happened. Take out all the emotion, just think about the facts of, okay, I did this, what strategy can I do to make it better and to continue me forward on this spiral staircase? So sometimes you might fall back, sometimes you might go forward, but even though it still continues on and sometimes it looks the same, you get a new perspective and the perspective is what makes it different. And the perspective is what keeps you going upward. So continue on in your spiral staircase, continue to have patience and to continue to keep trying. You don't need to be 100% perfect. Forget the all or nothing mentality. That used to be a huge problem of mine, all or nothing mentality. And so I figured if I wasn't doing it all perfect, I wasn't doing it good. And that's not the truth. You don't have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. You just keep on going, keep on trying. And before you know it, even though the first few weeks are hard and you can't really see a difference and you don't know why you're doing it because you don't even know if what you're doing is helping, pretty soon you just keep on plugging along and you are going to start to see a difference. You're gonna start to see a difference. And it's a little at first, and then if you keep going, even through the setbacks, even through the weeks where nothing changes, you keep on going and you keep going up that spiral staircase and you're gonna keep getting results or you're gonna keep getting lessons and that is not a failure. If you keep getting lessons and new perspectives, you're not failing. There's no, there's no failure as long as you keep trying. 
And sometimes I feel like we wanna just throw in the towel when things go wrong, or we put so much emotion behind um, the stories that we tell ourselves. when are they stories we're telling ourselves to make us believe certain things, or are they facts? And I promise I'm gonna to get to more of that conversation because it's a good one. And it's a lesson that is so huge, that has been so huge for me and my mindset on my journey. And I know it's gonna be super valuable to you. So look for that later on. But you guys, if you keep going and you keep trying and you keep having consistency and patience, you're gonna start noticing a difference, even though in the beginning it's hard. But take those progress pictures, take those measurements, because weight isn't always everything. Sometimes a person can weigh the exact same, but have a completely different body composition. And that's where macros are awesome because you can choose what you're going to do and you have the power to choose. And it's through making those choices consistently, being patient and trying, even when you're not perfect, that you're gonna make a change and you're gonna be stronger and you're gonna have a better mindset and through the choices you make, make those choices align with the values and the results that you want. You have the power to choose in every situation. So align your choices with the values and the results that you want. And remember to just keep going and even when it's hard and even when you can't see anything. So I hope you have a great day and remember the spiral staircase and remember the paper towel analogy when you're having a rough day.